The recovery continues across Tampa Bay this morning. As many of you are waking up at 10 a.m. hoping for the power to come back on and still cleaning up debris from the storm. We do have team coverage at this hour on Hurricane Milton and the recovery process. We have 10 Tampa Bay's Aduria Chumba in Sarasota, where the major hurricane first made landfall just days ago. Also, Nick Volturo in Manatee County and meteorologist Mike Prangley in the Weather Center, where him and the rest of our 10 Tampa Bay team have tracked this storm, keeping you informed, prepared, and connected all throughout. Thank you so much for watching 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Jenny Dean. We do need to get a first look at your forecast, and meteorologist Mike Prangley is the one to give it to us. We are looking at some nice weather today. It'll be good to help people get cleaned up. Yes, really the forecast we've been waiting, it seems like months for, and it's just been a crazy couple of weeks. I know we're all just catching our breath. It, it's it's just been surreal out there, but how about some real nice weather as we go through not just this weekend, but for several days into next week. We take a look at our visit Tampa Bay .com camera. There's the scintillating sunshine and the Hillsborough River uh, looking much better this morning uh, compared to what we saw yesterday with those rising river levels. Uh, we're st starting to see many of the rivers start to fall and that trend is our friend. We take a look at why. Well, we've got the dry weather 73 degrees dew point of 67, so it's bearable out there. Nothing too sticky. I want to show you this. We had lows this morning only in the low to mid 60s up toward Crystal River. Still a comfortable 70, 75 in Bartow, Sarasota. Yeah, we're thinking about you for a cleanup day, 75 degrees. And we've got good cleanup weather because as we look at the humidity trend, it's not too bad. All right, so we're in the low to mid 60s today all the way into next week and then a big plunge in those dew points indicating our first real cold front since May on the way. We'll show you that. But first of all, getting you ready for today, our cleanup weather looking good. We've got low to mid 80s. You can thank that north to northeast flow uh, bringing in and ushering in some very nice weather. We take a look at radar verifying that nice forecast from Pinellas to Hillsborough to Pasco County up in Hernando looking good, but we're watching some improvements on the rivers, the Anclote, Alafaya, the Peace, and the Manatee rivers are falling, but we still see some rises on a few of those rivers. That includes the Withlacoochee, the Hillsboro, and the Cypress Creek. We'll take a close look at these rivers and have the big changes in that seven day forecast coming right up. All right, Mike, thank you so much. Now we can help keep you up to date on the weather in your neighborhood. Just download our free 10 Tampa Bay app. And of course, we'll send an alert if weather will impact you. This morning, many of you are asking, when are the lights going to come back on? And where can I fill up for gas? Here's what we know at this hour. More than 1.6 million customers across Florida still in the dark, most of them in the Tampa Bay area. Major electric companies are now sharing when you might expect to see the lights come back on. Duke Energy expects power to come back on Citrus in Citrus in Hernando, Highlands and Polk by midnight Sunday and then Tuesday at midnight for Pasco and Pinellas counties. Florida Power and Light says it's targeting 90% restoration by the end of the day Monday. Tampa Electric has a goal of midnight Thursday to get the majority of its customers back up and running. In fact, early this morning, Tico had hundreds of linemen meet at the fairgrounds to do repairs. They were already heading out at like 6 a.m. 366,000 customers have been restored as of 6 a.m. And those numbers do continue to rise. Remember, they're doing everything they can to get the power back on as quickly as they can. All right, let's talk about gas. Fuel ships are coming into Port Tampa Bay as soon as today. 45% of the state's supply comes in through our port, and there was a power problem, but now all seven fuel terminal operators have power. So you should start seeing more trucks delivering to the gas stations. And so we've been working with our private fuel operators to get back online so that they can get that fuel supply from our port and out into the community where it's needed. Some experts say it might take until Tuesday or Wednesday for gas issues, issues to be resolved. We do have a list of stations that have both power and gas. That's on our 10 Tampa Bay app and our website. And speaking of the need for gas, the few stations around the Bay Area that do have it, they are seeing some outrageously long lines, including in Bradenton. 10 Tampa Bay is Nick Volturo live from Wawa in downtown Bradenton. And Nick... I mean, you have seen some major lines all morning long. What are you seeing right now? Yeah, you know, Jenny, and that's a great point. There have been enormous 
lines, long, long lines right here at this Wawa in Bradenton. They said they just got gas in about an hour ago, and you can see the lines are starting to wrap around the street. I talked to one driver. He told me it reminds him of a Mad Max post-apocalyptic society where nobody can get gas, and it's every man for themselves. You see, they brought in police here. If you take a look in the distance, you can see there are police on both ends trying to regulate the the people that are driving over to the pumps. Another thing, we were over at the Walmart. They are out of gas. They are done. They had 7,000 gallons left at 730. They are done. They said they were pumping about 1,500 gallons per hour. Wawa now is the only gas station that we know of that has gas here in the Bradenton area. And one of the things is there's a lot of people without power here. A lot of these gas stations can't even get the pumps up and running because they are also in the dark. Like you mentioned, so many thousands of people, about 42% Manatee County right now out of power. And this is just the theme, right? You take a look and you can see these people all waiting. A lot of people have been frustrated. You see tensions are sometimes getting very, very high as people are waiting for hours and hours to get gas. Some of these lines, two, three hours, some even longer. Some other people have been walking with cans. That's not allowed. That's one thing you need to know. If you are going to come to the gas station, you cannot show up just walking with a can. You have to be in your vehicle. They are not going to accept people. Everyone's got to wait online and wait their turn. But this is the thing, right? You see the yellow caution tape around some of the pumps. So there's only a certain number of pumps that are actually operating right now. And that's why people have to be patient. We've seen people bringing in gas, getting gas for others, trying to get their generators power up. People tell me they are on fumes right now. This is their last chance to fuel up. So we know gas is at a premium. And talking to police right out here behind me, they say the one thing people really have to do if they're going to be out here waiting is to be patient. They're trying to get to everybody, but understand gas is scarce. And right now it is going to take some time for you to fuel up. For right now, reporting live in Bradenton, Nick Volturo, Ted Tampa Bay. Nick, thank you so much. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office just wrapping up a news conference from Valrico to update about some of the serious damage around the county and the relief efforts happening. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody was there and she warned about people about being on the roads unnecessarily. And she says you do need to have patience when you do finally find gas. When you are in an affected area and it is dark outside, there is no electricity, there are no, you can see where we are right now, the street lights do not work. It is an incredibly dangerous time to be on the roads. So if you are in one of those areas and you don't need to be out, please stay off the roads I, uh, because it took some time to get those ports up going and the gas out. We have gas, it will get there. We have the right supplies, we're getting back online, um, but please have, patients at those gas stations. Again, more power as it's being restored. That means more gas stations are going to have gas. We have an update this morning on the status of schools right now. There's no word from Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco or Sarasota counties on whether school will be open on Monday, but we should get an update later today. Here's what we do know. Manatee County is hoping to open schools on Tuesday, but right now, 33 of the buildings there are still without power. In Citrus County, all schools will be open on Monday, so Citrus is good to go. Classes will also resume Monday at the University of Tampa. But the campus is back open tomorrow. USF Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Sarasota, we are going to continue to update this as soon as we get more information on 10tampabay.com. This morning, a lot of you are wondering, What's open and what's closed right now? Well, if you've gotten a bit stir crazy, we can tell you the Dali Museum in St. Pete, it is open, as is the Woodson African American Museum of Florida. In Tampa, the Glazer Children's Museum is also open today. Several places will open Monday and countless other attractions are still closed until further notice. Right now, staff at Bush Gardens and Adventure Island, they're still ass assessing the damage from Milton. Also, both Zoo Tampa and Mosey are closed because of power outages. We do have a full list of what's open at 10tampabay.com. And here's a big thing for many of you that are looking to file a claim with FEMA. Milton is now finally this morning on their website. So when you go to fill out your claim, Helene is also there. But remember, you need to file a claim separately. If you had problems with Helene, file that under Helene. 
If you had problems with Milton, file that under Milton. Even if you had both, you have to do them separately. And there are FEMA centers open across Tampa Bay. They can help you with all of this. You can file a claim online at disasterassistance.gov. Remember, if you lost all your food due to a power outage, you can file a $750 claim. Be sure to put, I have a serious food need. Again, the website is disasterassistance.gov.